What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, JD, and thank you for viewing Coast to Coast Gamers. As you can see, my Utah Jazz is 3-0 and in the uh, NBA Finals. So, about to play Game 4. We're going to see if uh, Utah Jazz can uh, sweep the Toronto Raptors. Let's get to the game. Sports pregame show. Welcome to our continuing coverage of the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. We're here for Pivotal Game 4. With the Big Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, I'm Ernie Johnson, and let's get started. And the home floor for the series tonight in Toronto, as the Raptors will be playing against the Utah Jazz. Well, for Utah, here in the finals, and they remain undefeated in this postseason, they're the undisputed favorites at this point. We'll see if they can continue their unbeaten streak. Guys, we know not every NBA Finals is going to go the distance. This one's been a lopsided affair thus far. Kenny, how impressed are you with their play taking this 3 to nothing lead? Oh, I'm very impressed. I mean, at the same time, they have that mentality that we're not done yet. So they're going out to nail it in today. I think it's over, Shaq. It might be over, but you can't get complacent. I remember a team that was up 3-1 and got complacent, and we already know what happened. Wow. Anyway, the prize is in sight. Now it's time for this team to take it up to another level, baby. And with that, just about time for the tip. Let's uh, see what happens, and we'll see you next time. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's game four of the NBA Finals. The Utah Jazz have simply been on a rampage, storming through the finals, and with a commanding 3-0 lead, they now have a chance to do what very few teams have even dreamed of. Can they sweep their way to the Larry O'Brien Trophy in a game four against the Toronto Raptors? Which heroes will rise? The NBA playoffs start now. Welcome, social media, and you crazy jazz fans. This is your boy, the great general manager of the great Utah Jazz, Jonathan Sims. We are here, game four, against the Toronto Raptors. Are we going to be the only? The only NBA team in NBA history to sweep the entire playoffs. Well, let's go see. Let's check this game out. Just to remind you guys, this first quarter, I'm, I'm going to do my, my commentating. Then the second quarter, I'm going to uh, uh, let NBA 2K uh, commentators do their thing. And then third quarter, it's going to be me. And then fourth quarter, NBA 2K. So here we go. Come on. There we go, Rubio. Nice. Let's go. All right. Come on, fellas. Don't let this game slip through your fingers. Let's make NBA history. Come on, Rubio. Play some deep. Don't foul him. There you go. Stay on him. Stay on him. There we go. Nice. And, and just to remind you guys, who was the man in, in game three was Donovan Mitchell. That's right, Donovan Mitchell with 49 points. Who, I don't know any rookies who ever done that in the NBA Finals. Not even Jordan. Not even LeBron. Not even Kobe. To score 49 points in a finals. So, yeah. Donovan Mitchell was just going straight crazy in game three. Let's see if he can continue on that motivation and that fire in game four. So far, Toronto's trying to show some spunk. Keyword trying. Let's hope that. Let's hope uh, that my Utah Jazz players show them what what they really made up. Ooh, look at Rubio taking it to the hole. They're looking for Donovan for him to pass it to Donovan Mitchell, but Rubio just took it. The Raptors have gone two for four. All right, come on, come on, fellas, play some D. 
He set the pick. Let Toronto know that y'all here to win this game. We ain't here to do another game five. Oh, got that lucky bounce. I'm so sick of DeRozan with all those lucky bounces. Like the way I'm trying to do, do him favors. There we go. Uh oh, Rubio trying to take over. Is he trying to be the man in this game? Over the screen. Well, I really don't care who's the man. As long as we we win this game, that's all I care about. I, I wanna I wanna boast and brag to the other general managers and say you guys can do what my team done, and that's sweep the playoffs. Sweep everyone in the playoffs. Oh, look at that. See how they they're trying to shut down Donovan. Not Mitchell. Ibaka just got took. Doing that weak, that weak turnaround layup. And in his first quarter, about three minutes played. Oh, come on, fellas. Oh, there you go. Uh oh, Mitchell taking it coast to coast. Right. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That was a dirty play. DeMar DeRozan did that on purpose. There we go. And also, Donovan Mitchell went 12 for 12 on the free throw line. No, I'm sorry, 14 for 14 on the free throw line in game three. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. There's that accurate touch of his at the strike. All right, come on. In. Come on, Rubio, stay on Lowry. We've been shutting him down so far. There we go, nice. Uh-oh. Donovan Mitchell taking it on Lowry. That one's in his first bucket of the game. Lowry couldn't do nothing. Boy, Ibaka is such a great teammate. This guy. All right, so far we're up by three. Open man. I'm not getting too excited about that. Lowry passes to Miles. Uh, rebound. There we go. And he didn't get quite enough under the ball. And he's been way off the mark. This Mr. Mitchell is getting rebounds now. Oh man. And Toronto will come the other way. Lowry with the ball. Gordon now. By there we go. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, Crowder known for his defense. And he loved to come on, Rubio. Hit that. Oh, see what I mean? Come on, DeRozan get those bounces, but not my, not my guys. And Miles gets to DeRozan. Screen by Valanciunas. Come on, play tight D. Tight D. Look at it. No. To stop the drought. There we go. Okay. We gotta, we gotta keep the cap on that center. That dude, if it wasn't DeMar DeRozan, it was that darn center that was just going crazy in game three. Even though we still beat him by 20 points, though. Raptors trail by three. All right, come on, fellas. Come on. Get that we up by three, but we need a bigger deficit than that. There you go, Rubio. Keep, keep him flustered. Play him on. No easy shots. Oh, see what I mean? They get the bounces. He's got his first three points of the not, well, not the Utah Jazz. The rise and fire as soon as he gets the touch. Come on. Go there. This is to Ibaka. Oh, Ibaka, come on. I think the coach needs to sit him down. He's he, he messing up. He's playing. He's playing brand new. That is his first foul of the game. A new group in now for the Raptors. Udo's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Joey All right, come on. in for CJ Miles. Powell, he's checked in. Keep the D up. Rose. Don't let off. And it's right in for Kyle Lala. Five on the clock. Here's the screen. There, ah, screen. Mitchell. Come on. There we go. Raptors get it back. Was shot by Udo. No good. Jazz have gone five of nine from the field here in the front. There you go, Mitchell. Mitchell. Oh, Crowder, nice rebound. Nice. There we go. Stay on top. How about the relentless effort on the backboards? Crowder utilizing his size to eat the window. Come on. There you go. Nice. Nice, Rubio. There you go, Rubio. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Because he saw Gobert coming right behind him. He, he clipped him on purpose. And oh, come on, Rubio. 
takes the 13 footer. Siakam doesn't go for nice. Go bear with the defensive effort. Oh, snap. Here's Mitchell right over the Eagles. Nice. The jam. Yeah, well executed. Donovan Mitchell keeping love. that fire that he had in game three. He's keeping yes, it up. I love that they're not settling for anything outside the paint. Oh, nice little move. Take a look. See how it's stopping. Mitch to Siakam. Okay. Siakam got his little shot. He only got two Rubio. points in game three. He has six. Ah. He gets to a bottom. Before Gobert, he gets There you go, Gobert. Nice. The there you go. Nice looking. The jazz nice looking four. pass. Now, Kevin, there's times where the defense has nothing for Rudy Gobert. He's too long and too polished. Stay on top of him, Mitchell. Here is Udo, defended by Gobert. Come on, Gobert. Oh, you ain't got nothing on you. A wide open look here for right. Ah, come on, Gobert. Udo, the pass to right. How in the world are they getting these rebounds? And at last, they get one to fall. And a nice job. It made no sense for them to get all those different offensive rebounds. What the freak, Gobert? Oh, they, my guy's starting to mess up royally now. Good work defensively by Crowder for Utah. They've got eight of the 13 shots. There you go. Take it in, Mitchell. Take it in, homie. And a foul. That's what I'm talking about. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. I notice they, they slacking off every time Mitchell comes in the hole. They don't foul him as much. The man has been on fire on the free throw line as well. Raptors trail by five. And right kicks the foul. He dishes it to Ingle. All right, come on. Play tight D, tight D. Now here's Let them know that you're there. No easy shot. Shot clock at six. Hits oh, my goodness. It is sickening how the ball keeps bouncing. Right inside. 59 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Gobert, the screen. Here's Mitchell. Nice. Easy layup after coming off the pit. I'll tell you, this guy will not stop pouring it on. It doesn't matter what approach they try to All right, come on, Rubio. Let's get this he ball right. An answer for everything. Now here's Powell. Pass to Udo. Back to Powell. Oh, oh. Almost had that ball. Almost had it. That's a floater go. There we go. Come on. Go bear with the defensive end. Come on, Rubio. Push and push the shot clock in the game clock. Oh, in one. As the basket comes in a three point play chance right here. Rubio, he is on fire. He said, Nope. I'm going to make this one. Into their offense. The Jazz have yet to miss from the free throw line. Good. We're up by eight. This is one of the most talked about. Keep it up, fellas. Keep it up. Looking good. You look like a team that. Really? Really rough? That was a weak. That was a weak foul. Come on, man. You gonna call that on, on, my, on my boy Mitchell like that? Oh, 17 oh. seconds left in the first. Rebound, rebound. Really like the defense. There we go. Focus and intensity. Uh oh, and Donovan Mitchell up again. So oh. On the shot and two free throws for the contest. Sorry. Obviously, these guys haven't learned their lesson from Game Three. Protect the rim. So far in this one, free throw dropped for Mitchell. Oh man, he misses his first free throw. Now here's Ingles. All right, rebound. All right, good. All right, you crazy Jazz fans and all you people that's watching this awesome network. You see how my boys are taking it. So be ready for them to do the same thing in the second quarter. See you guys second quarter. Remember, I'm not going to talk. 2K is. Peace. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. And taking a look at the Jazz performance here, guys. Uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Jazz leading by nine. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So the Raptors five right now. We've got Udo. 
Norman Powell is out there with Wright. And it's Joe Ingles. And it's Siakam in at the force. And Wright kicks to Ingles. The pass to Siakam. He feeds it to Powell. Passes it to Ingles. Shot clock at five. They set the screen. Crowder with the steal. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. And now let's give you a look at the players who have stood out at taking high percentage shots in the playoffs. Fourth, Serge Ibaka. And guys, that shooting percentage of his has been spectacular since the start of the playoffs. He has been completely locked in. Right against Rubio. And right kicks to Ingles. The kick out to right. It's good from long range. Wright's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Raptors. If they think they can give him that shot and get away with it, think again, gentlemen. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Well, make no mistake, Kevin. Crowder has got great strength inside. The defense can get physical. It doesn't matter. This is his first trip to the line tonight, and he makes the first. Valanciunas, who's checked in for Toronto. Kyle Lowry comes in for DeLon Wright. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And Kevin, let's not forget, Jay Crowder is a former second-round draft pick. This guy has made his bones in the NBA by adding toughness to every team he's played on. Valanciunas passes to Lowry. Now here's Paul. Not a lot of room. Feeds it to Valanciunas. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. Let's well, say on the low block, Valanciunas has shown that he can be a skilled offensive player, and the defense has got to pay attention to him. What a tremendous job playing through contact. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Norman Powell. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Well, Kevin, the fifth overall pick back in 2011, Valanciunas has worked so hard to improve his entire game. I'd say it's paid off, Kevin. He can impact the game in a lot of different ways. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Mitchell wishes to drop to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Now here's DeRozan. Defense right on him. And Valanciunas kicks to DeRozan. Missed inside. Boy, not enough spring in his step on the way to the cup. He actually short arms that layup. To the inside. There's Gobert. And slam dunk. By Gobert. Rudy Gobert, an athletic monster. He fends off the defense with an amazing finish. Lowry against Rubio. Kicks it to Valanciunas. That's in coming off an assist from Lowry. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Inside. Here's Ibaka. He's now one for two with that bucket. Well, you love Sergi Baca's shot selection, especially inside where he's so efficient. Lowry kicks to DeRozan. Another miss by DeRozan. Jazz leading by seven. Here's Mitchell. And then Mitchell with the dunk. How about that? Flying high to send that one down. And you know what? When you've got the athleticism and explosion of a player like that, bigger guys are still at your mercy. And they double up DeRozan, trying to find Udo, who gets it to him. And there's Lowry. That's good on the assist from Udo. And that's now nine points for Kyle Lowry. Rubio right side. Gobert hits to Mitchell. Crowder against Hingle. Pocket six. On the line. That one a little long. Just a little hesitation on that release, right? His timing looked a bit off. 
And there are the Raptors with another bucket. Well, guys, really good court vision, allowing DeRozan to make that pass. You know, he sees the play developing way in advance. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. C.J. Myers has checked in for the Raptors. Utah also making some changes. Jefferson's checked in for Mitchell. And Ananobi subbed in for Ricky Rubio. Utah leading by four. Ananobi passes to Ibaka. Drills the three-pointer. Ibaka's got five now. Nice to see that Ibaka has added the three-point shot to his arsenal. You have now got to get a hand up on him when he's beyond the arc. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. The Raptors shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. At the line for the Raptors, Ebene Udo. Taking two shots. Free throw good, Udo. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Here's Ananobi. Now recovering. Ananobi, no good. Raptors trail by five. Outside DeRozan. From about 16, that one falls. Ten points in the game so far. It feels like every look is a good look for DeMar DeRozan. And the space guy in his grill. No pressure. Here's Gobert. Toronto grabs the miss. Some firepower from this offense tonight. Yeah, they got a nice groove going right now offensively. Miles with it. Now guarded by Crowder. Lowry for three. No good on that one. And Utah the other way now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Crowder kicks to Gobert. And the layup's good off the glass. Gobert's got four points now in the quarter. Well, you love Crowder's willingness to distribute the basketball. His vision allows him to set his teammates beautifully. And Valanciunas gets to DeRozan. Valanciunas with a screen on Jefferson. Knocked away at the top of the key, Lowry. And here's Gobert. Six points for him. Wasted no time on that one. Now it's a seven-point Jazz lead. I'll tell you, what a start in the first quarter, and now he's taking it to a new level here in the second. Swing by Valanciunas. Here's Lowry. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Well, Kevin, this guy's proven over and over that despite his size disadvantage, he's still able to score in the paint. Here's a peek at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the top rebounders in this year's playoffs. Rudy Gobert, number one. Raptors trail by five. Come on, come on. Lowry kicks to Udo. Pass to Valanciunas. The feed to Lowry. Back to Valanciunas. Gobert with the block. Kicks to go there. And yes, it's good. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Some changes for Toronto. Siakam is checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Norman Powell comes in for Uta. And it's DeLon right in for Kyle Lowry. The Jazz also changing it up. Howard's checked in for Ananobi. Harrell comes in for Serge Ibaka. And Yurepko is subbed in for Crowder. Here's Siakam. And it's sent back by Howard. Yeah, and she just have to be cautious with Howard around. He has such a long... Oh! Look at that. How about that? You watch it. It's not just the hang time. It's the strength and the time power. Out, time out. The ageless wonder, Richard Jefferson. Guarded. So, timeout called here, the first for Toronto. Well, I mean, he needs to talk to his guys. The interior defense has been horrific. Absolutely no rim protection whatsoever. At this point, the other team is walking all over them on the inside. Ananobi, he's checked in for the Jams. Gobert brings the double team. Powell kicks to Siakam. 
Down to five on the shot clock. Here's DeRozan. Cams the tough leader from the outside. DeRozan's got 11 points. Well, for all the athleticism he possesses, DeMar DeRozan's old-fashioned jumper is really the staple of his game. Jefferson passing to Anadol. No good from outside. Raptors trail by eight. DeRozan with it. Now guarded by Harrell. Right for three. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. Wright's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the Raptors. Here's Anadol. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Toronto's gone five of ten from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Six seconds left here in the second. Here's DeRozan. Gobert with the block. And they get it back. It's good, and the Jazz lose. Cut down to just four points with a bucket from Siakam. Utah has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. This is to here. And Howard has it in the corner. To the inside. Here's Hananobi. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got his fourth rebound in this one. Goes and dishes to Powell. Out left of the wing. Right. Again, Toronto. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better fit. Here's on an open. Four seconds left. Oh, you got to be kidding. Hey, guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair in a close game the important thing is to get the two points all right two crazy jazz fans uh we were looking kind of shaky in the second quarter but we're still in the lead so stick around for the second half i'll see you guys in the third quarter they're up by four sports halftime show and in this sold out arena packed to the gills with fans we are glad to have you join us i'm ernie johnson this is uh, Kenny the Jet Smith right there. Shaquille O'Neal getting them all riled up. up. Yeah. They love the show, aren't they? Oh, yeah. And we love the fans, too. Oh, yeah. Well, for the Jazz, they hold a 3-0 lead in this series and want nothing more than to close it out in Game 4. But if the first half is any indication, it's going to be a colossal fight to capture the championship here tonight. And, uh, Kenny, what you see out there from the Jazz? Well, they've been pounding. I mean, pounding it in the paint. Not just taking the first three-pointer when it came across. That keeps the defense on its toes. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? Well, those second-chance points are huge, and they only came because of their effort. Their work on the offensive glass is what's keeping them in the game. They definitely should try to continue to stay tough on the glass. It's been key so far. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. All right, Jazz fans, we're back. We're up by four. That second quarter looked kind of shaky. Uh, it didn't look. It was shaky. Couldn't get nobody to get open. What? What the? Oh, my goodness. Come on. Rubio, why would you do do that type of pass. Baseline jumper. Look at this. Mess. Go Bears not even trying to get in, in position for the offensive rebound. And this dude just killing us. This is like no one can stop the Rose. He's the only reason why Toronto is even in this game. No one can seem to guard this man. Look at this mess. No one going to spread out. It's like, what, what's going on? You guys don't want to... You know, win a game? Win this game? Come on, Harold. Oh, my goodness. 
And, and Dwight Howard. What would you think? Why did you have to push the man? Now we're on the up by one. Defense is slacking big time. Shooting the three ball well. Look at this mess. That's a screen for Myers. Back to Lowry. Wide open. Toronto with the triple. Now they get the lead. Well, it's not the first time they took the lead. They have been able to respond at the other end. And Rubio picks. Ah. Pass to Harold. There's Harold, come on. You open. There you go. Nice. Harold's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board. For come on, fellas. Play some D. Got a nice little back and forth going here. Well, I love how personal this thing is getting. If you drain a three on, well, at least you can't. At least you can say Toronto's like not. They said they're not gonna go out. Hi, Howard. They fight. They refuse to be the team to be in the record book to be able to take <laughs> to let a team go undefeated in the entire playoff. some extra. On it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Rebound, rebound. Come on. There you go. Lowry, no good. Jazz leading by three. What you going to do, Jefferson? What you going to do? Jefferson. And ah, goaltending. Good. Goaltending the official call. Yeah, that's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. The Raptors making a switch here. Ingles is checking. We have to put a stop to DeRozan. If we, if seven of their 14 we can find a way to stop DeMar DeRozan, the game is over. Here's Siaka. Oh, nice block. Look at this. Go Barry, act like you can't hold on to a ball. Here in the third quarter. Outside Jefferson. Come on, Jefferson. Six to shoot. Go Come on, Gobert. That's you. Oh, my goodness. Raptors trail by five. Come on, get the man some help. There we go. Shut him down. Gobert, that's you. Ah. Two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Don't you love Rudy Gobert's nickname, Kevin? The stifled power. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Not, me and the organization that paying you all this money, you can't hit free throws. There you go. Come on. Especially on an important game like this. Stay on top of DeRozan. Do not leave that man open. That's a screen for DeRozan. And they get it. Good. Nice. Go Bears got two down number five here tonight. Just not much. Come on, get him in. When it comes to get him open. They set the pick up. And a new bay. Nice. There we go. Take it in. We're gonna have to do one or two things. Follow you or leave you alone. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Inside. Kaminsky, what the? Come on, brother. The ball was right there in his face. He didn't. Couldn't jump up to get that. Well, at least he, at least he scored on that next one. That next possession. Inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. They're going for the. All right, come on, come on. Play some D. What Rubio? What? You can't hit that one. Good D by Rubio. Utah leading by eight. Slow it down. And look, like I said, slow it down. Commence. Oh my goodness. You push it up for on three. Good way to slow it down, Rubio. Good way to slow it down. Up top, Valanciunas. Look at that. Two. Raptors moving the ball. Oh. Udo gets the bucket. Well, that's a pass. I don't think any Come on, fellas, put your head out of the sand. And let's play the ball that y'all been playing this last three games. Look at this. Kaminsky act like he can't even get himself in position to get the freaking rebound. Lowry passes to Udo. The dish to Valanciunas. Fires from 14. 
All right, good. Man, he's just Come on. Defender. Good position. Get a game plan together. Right, perfect contest in that Harold, you open. English leaving you wide open. To have any kind of space. Oh, my goodness. English just basically dared you and said, you ain't going to make it. You ain't going to shoot it. If you do, you're going to miss. And he did that. Oh, my. This guy is just killing us out there on that court. Is there anyone on this team that can stop DeMar DeRozan? As you can see, the frustration in my voice, the Jazz fans, I'm probably ain't, I'm just like you anxious. I'm like, look, please do not throw this game away. Because you guys want to get comfortable. This ain't the time to get comfortable. Come on, play some tight D. Seven of their 14 three pointers in this game. Stay on him. Look at this. Kaminsky act like he can't transition over. Powell's got his second basket of the night. I'll tell you, the floater is a shot that takes great touch, but that one will totally leave in his fingertips. Out to Ibaka. The pass to Crowder. Ibaka, what? Get your behind down low. Oh, my goodness. The chair was close. Almost made that shot. I think you have to be cautious when guarding Jay Crowder. He excels at using his body to get these calls. The Jazz have shot. Oh, my goodness. They putting the right people in line. They missing free throws. Good on the second free throw. Raptors trail by five. Come on. Let's get this ball back. Stop Keep it out of the Rose's hands. And he feeds it to Ingles. Passes it to Udo. In the corner, it's Alan uh, Junis. He's not going to. There we go. Miss. As long as we keep it out of the Martin Rose's hands, we're good. Here's Mitchell. There we go. Nice. Mitchell's got 20. Listen, he's been a Oh, the Rose's not even on the court, so I ain't worried about him. Efficient and effective. Jefferson against Wright. Feeds it to Ingles. All right, come on, guys. Come on. And there's the foul. Ah, he fuck him. What? That is his first foul. Seriously, dude. CJ Miles. He's checked in for Toronto. CJ Miles. 153 left to play in the third. Stay on him, crowd. Ingles against Crowder. He looks not good when someone's all in his face. Right. That's a two pointer. That shot misses. All right, you go on, take, take it. it. Three on two. Crowder, that's you. Nice. Two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Look, Kevin, make no mistake. Jay Crowder has a craftiness that allows him to pick up fouls on his way to the cup. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. Three throw. All right, good. Crowder. He makes the first one. Let's hope he makes the second one. Good. good. He makes both of them. 135 left in the third quarter of the game. Come on, Mitchell. Tight D, tight D. He's about to fumble the ball. Finds the bottom of the bucket from Darn it. Howell's got four points now in the quarter. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It's got to tighten. Here's you, Mitchell. Got a piece of it. I mean, Jeff's inside. <laughs> ah. Now here's Paul. He's Kaminsky, he is useless. The dude's not playing. No type of defense. He's just there to take up space. Alright, there you go. Raptors trail by seven. Come on, Jefferson. Come on. Make a fumble the ball. He was about to lose the rock the last time. He couldn't hold on to it. Here's Fallon Chunis. Utah with the rebound. A slight advantage for the all right, come on, Mitchell. department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. They get it back. Mitchell. Kaminsky, that's you. Nice. That's the only thing you were worth it. Good at the defense is look at this. Absolutely. You use as much of that ticker as you can. That's just good offense. Mitchell, take it in on him. That's right. 
that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now yeah, to he's trying to push it. He's trying to push it. Fashion. That's a mistake. There you go. Good. Out of this defense, especially considering the deficit in the score. All right, Jazz fans, we're up by 11. I'm still kind of anxious. My heart is pumping like 300 miles per hour. But hey. We're here at the fourth quarter. We're up in the league. So, let's listen on the T, uh, 2K Network uh, commentators on this fourth quarter. Now let's take a listen on head coach Dwayne Casey. Don't give in for those semi-fast breaks and get mismatched. We got to sprint back. We don't want to have just give in to a mismatch. That's what they want. Dwayne Casey extremely focused on what he feels are cracks in their transition D. Hey, creating space on the fast break. Something every team practices. They not only have to flip from offense to defense faster, they have to communicate much better. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up in what has been a one-sided show. They've got C.J. Miles. Height is out there with Norman Powell. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Siakam in at the four. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Now here's Wright, tight defense on him. Miles against Crowder, and the rejection by Ibaka. Boy, great extension from Ibaka. His length always a factor. And it's Mitchell missing. Raptors trail by 11. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Wright sets a screen for Valanciunas. Screen by Valanciunas. Just five to shoot. Siakam kicks to right. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. You know, we call that great recognition of the situation. He knew where the double team on him was coming from. A teammate was open somewhere, and he found it. Now the Raptors moving it up. Miles against Crowder. Puts it up from 12. Miles with another miss. Boy, he hasn't given them much of anything tonight. He's got to look for his own shot a little less and keep the ball moving. Here's Ananobi, and he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. Ananobi's got the lead up to 11 now for Utah. The Raptors have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. That's tipped. That one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Crowder. And defensively, great anticipation making a play there on the ball. Well, superb awareness, Greg, right? Not allowing them to get comfortable running their offense, being super aggressive. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. DeMar DeRozan comes in for Norman Powell, and it's Lowry in for DeLon Wright. And a switcher also for Utah. Rubio's checked in, and we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Guys, I was able to listen in on what Dwayne Casey went over with his team. He was not happy with their defensive performance. He said they're getting everything they want. We've got to show them we can't let that happen. You have to make a stand. You have to get some stops, and that'll get us going on a run. Guys? Miles against Crowder. Lowry gets to DeRozan. Pass to Miles. Miles with another miss. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Here's Rubio. Here's Abaka. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Well, let's remember, Serge Ibaka is a defensive presence. This guy, an elite shot blocker early in his career, and he is now a capable scorer from just about anywhere. Good on both. I tell you, as good as he is at the line, it allows him to invite contact when he's down low. Lowry gets to Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Kevin, I like the physicality on that play by Jonas Valanciunas. Simply powers through the contact, showing he can give it as well as take it. Here's Mitchell. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. Here's DeRozan, and the Raptors check on two more. 
Well, what a terrific game for DeMar DeRozan. He has been more than a handful for this defense. Howard with his screen on Howard. Here's Rubio. And here's the call on Howard. That's foul number two for him. Raptors trail by six. And they double up DeRozan. And the rejection by Ibaka. And now Utah, fast break. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's foul number two for him. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. on defense so far in the fourth quarter they've allowed just six points he's fighting it in this quarter hasn't been able to get into any sort of move here's DeRozan here's Siakam and the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second change bucket right there and you can just see by the way he fought with the fact that he's still got a lot of gas in the tank and doing that kind of dirty work down low makes a huge difference in a game this close what a Glass. They set the pick. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. And the wide open shot from Miles. Buries it from three point range. And now just a one point Utah lead. Here's Mitchell. DeRozan defending. Picks it to Mitchell. Screen by Howard. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Gobert, he's checked in for the Jazz. Toronto's gone two for two for three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Lowry dishes two to Rosen. Over Mitchell. Here's Valanciunas. Banked in off the glass. Valanciunas has got six here in this quarter. Well, Jonas Valanciunas has the instincts, the size, and the smarts to go ahead and take advantage of those missed shots and create them into points. Rubio, the pass to Crowder. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. Rubio's got four assists now tonight. And certainly, they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Can't cash in from close range. Yeah, no doubt it's been a rough game for him. I don't think he's going to lose any sleep over it as long as they hang on to the lead the rest of the way. No doubt the fight's there. They are trying to battle back, but they're just really struggling. Just no that one goes in. Time out, time and out. the Jazz lead by seven. That's just a case where he gets the space he needs and uses it to his advantage to make the jumper. And the Raptors call time here. And now a moment to take a look at our Jordan player of the game. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. And Craig, to play like he has under the most intense circumstances here in the playoffs makes it all the more remarkable. And Toronto making a change here. Ingles is checked in. In Toronto, they've gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. They set the pick. And Valanciunas penetrating. <laughs> Fouled in the act of shooting. A three-point play chance coming up. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Utah leading by four. Colbert with a screen on Lowry. Pulls up on the elbow. Second shot opportunity. And Gobert with the lay in. And, and they continue to control the glass. Toronto's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Bucket is good. 19 points for DeMar DeRozan. Oh my goodness, you could tell DeMar DeRozan demanded the basketball. He wanted the 
to Ingles. Now the feed to DeRozan. The 17-footer. Another miss by DeRozan. Utah has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Mitchell. He's tipped. Now here's Ingles. Guarded close. And DeRozan throws it down. Kevin, is there a guy who has a better understanding of what his job is than DeMar DeRozan? Put the ball in the basket. That's what he does. Two points, that one goes. Oh, give credit to Rubio. Tough-minded individuals tend to excel in big moments. Down low. Here's DeRozan. Here's Valanciunas. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. Kevin, that's the bucket they needed, and Valanciunas goes and gets it for him. The big man seizes control of the moment. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That is his first foul of the game. Here is Rubio. And Crowder gets it to go on the assist by Rubio. Crowder's got 10 points here in the second half. Lowry dishes to Ingles. Right side to Rosen. Yes! And he has brought them to within two points. And he's just putting the team on his back when he's needed most. Don't you just love to see that confidence when taking these big shots? Here's Ibaka. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And Toronto will come the other way. To tie it up. Good. And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. <laughs> and this is why they want the ball in the Rosen's hand. This guy is stone. Mitchell passes to Gobert, and so he draws the foul on the shot. Not trip to the line to shoot two. Even from over here, you can see that one pretty clear. He sinks the clutch free throw. The second one is good, and both at the line, and it's a two-point ball game. That's just clutch work, really. That's all you can see. A little bit of D now, and they'll be out of here with the win. And the Raptors call time here. They're behind by two. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Crowder with the steal. Kevin, these are the moments where Crowder has earned the trust and equity with his teammates. That's a big-time delivery. Ingles with a screen on Crowder. This is a two to Rosen. Buries it. And he has brought them to within two points. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he was just as dumb. Well, there's no doubt this guy's on a hot streak right now. That's why he keeps getting the ball in this one. They're like, hey, we're going to feed the hot man. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. at the line and it's a four-point ball game well that's gonna do it the only chance they had was for him to miss those instead he's absolutely perfect and there's the intentional foul no choice but to stop the clock here you had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock that's the enemy in this situation and that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall trying to focus now on the second no luck that time either It's off. And, and that's it, Utah Jazz. We are the champions. The first team in NBA history to go undefeated in the playoffs. Can you believe it? Four and oh. The struggle, the, the obstacles that we had throughout the season. With the home, with the owners and I mean, I know one thing. commentators not giving us our props. Now we prove to everybody that we are the champs. Once again, this is Kevin woo! This is your boy Jonathan Sims, the great 
champion, general manager of the awesome Utah Jazz. You guys enjoy the rest of the year. We see y'all next season, hopefully with another ring. Y'all take care. Peace.